Today is Wednesday, April 29th. It is 10.38 p.m., and I'm sorry this video is going to be released so late. It's going to be another quick tip if you didn't read the title to speed up launching a program. So right here I have a shortcut to launch Vegas Movie Studio. So we're going to whoops, we're going to just open it up, double click it, and see how long it takes to load. Now keep in mind this is going to take a little bit longer because I have a screen recorder running and I also have other programs up here running that I didn't bother closing out. So now it just came up after about five seconds. The it officially kind of started loading the actual parts of the program. Now it's hung up in the middle a little bit here, and it skipped some. It's still taking a while now, and I could, if this loaded in two seconds, I could have my video already imported, and by the time this finishes loading, I could be already starting to edit it instead of just starting to import it. So now it's up, and it's going to have to, there we go, project loaded, so it's officially done. That was maybe, I don't know how long, 10, 15 seconds? I'm not sure. I didn't even bother counting it, but you guys could get the idea of how long it was. So we're going to close this out now. And it's all the way closed. And we're going to right-click on the icon. This can be anywhere. As you can see, now it's in the folder because my desktop is currently a mess. It is the worst it's ever been, so I'm not even going to have you guys have to look at that. So you're going to right click and click properties. Make sure you're in the shortcut tab, not the general or any of these other ones. Going to click shortcut and right here where it says target, you got where it's going to see program files slash Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 9.0 slash Vegas Movie Studio PE 90 dot EXE end quotation. So you're going to press end on your keyboard when you click somewhere in there and that'll bring you to the very end. That's important. Press space once, backslash P R E F E T C H colon one. So backslash prefetch colon one, just like that, and click apply. Click OK. It loads just for a second there, and you're ready to go. So now we're going to open it up again and look at how fast this loads this time. So that came up faster than did last time, and this is stopped at the same spot, but look here, it's already to the middle. It just went right past the middle, and it's loading up again, and it's almost to the very end. Look at that. What was that, like five seconds, I think? We had an error, but that's not because of this. That was because I don't have the file in the correct location for it, but anyway... What was that? Five, ten seconds maybe? So it cut how much at, at maximum? Like ten seconds off the loading time? Uh, that that's doesn't seem like a lot, but really, you guys know what I'm talking about. T at this day and age, to wait ten seconds for a program to load, it's just unnecessary. So on any programs that use a lot of CPU or are program intensive, you may want to add this in here. It loads it in the background, and before you, it loads it in the background before you open it up. And when you open it up, it's already cached and stored on your computer, so you don't have to do the immediate loading when you're ready to use it. And that was today's tip. So remember, backslash prefetch colon one. It's in the description. Look at that. Remember to subscribe, rate, comment, follow me on Twitter, join my Facebook group, all that good stuff buy a t-shirt if you want to support me and every five t-shirts that I sell I'm giving away one more and you guys get to pick the colors from now on so keep that in mind hope this helped you as much as it helped me